Okay. For my first card, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. So this represents Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. So it looks that you guys have started something new or had some sort of, this could be a new project, this could be a new job, this could be a new idea, this could be a new creative type of endeavor. This could be many different things. If you're a business owner, you might be looking to hire more employees, potentially, whatever it may be. This definitely indicates that there is a blockage associated with this new start. Now, the blockage can be one that is external or one that is internal. So in regards to internal type of blockages, you might be feeling maybe too enthusiastic. Sometimes that can backfire on us. Or you might be feeling doubtful. Maybe some of you might be lacking confidence. It's always a possibility. Sometimes worry can be associated because anytime we have an ace, in the reverse position, this definitely indicates still a new start, but one that is being blocked. And we need to look at why it's not working out. So essentially, we need to try to take a step back and look at things objectively so that we can see what it is that we're doing wrong or whatever is, you know, not working out in our plans so that we can tweak it, you know, and then we can potentially have this card back to the upright position. So, yeah, this definitely, this can indicate sometimes that this new start, that we could potentially go in the wrong direction sometimes. So that can be a bummer. But sometimes, you know, we do go in the right direction, but perhaps we're just a bit too enthusiastic and, you know, maybe we might be reacting rashly, impulsively, maybe making impulsive decisions. And so then this can create a block. Now we clarify and we have the King of Cups. So for some of you, it might be an emotional type of block. So hence internal. But it doesn't have to be. Now see the King of Cups this man is an emotional man, but you wouldn't normally be able to guess that because he keeps a very tight rein on his emotions. He keeps them in check and under control. You won't see the King of Cups when he is upright. You won't see this man emotionally react. He can have a bunch of drama popping off all around him. And he's going to be the one in the room that looks cool, cool as a cucumber. Like, how are you so calm? <laughs> but he keeps his emotions in check. They're there. They are absolutely there. But he's not about to show them to just anybody. And so for some, this could be indicating that perhaps you might want to channel some of this energy from this king. Maybe you want to still be confident and be a leader, but also keep your emotions in check, you know, including your enthusiasm. Now, the King of Cups, he can be a counselor. He can be a teacher. He's really good at counseling because he knows how to handle those extremely difficult emotions. So he is really good at being a counselor. Now, sometimes he could be working around the water or anything to do with water. So someone that works around fish, someone that works around water in some way, shape or form. I mean, you could even work at a water company, <laughs> who knows? Or this could be simply indicating you know, a creative type endeavor. So maybe you might be into music. Maybe you might 
be pursuing a new direction, a new career with art, poetry, music. It could be many different things. It could even be mm, some esoteric type of things as well. So very possible. Sometimes this can indicate, especially if this, resonated with if you happen to be a business owner and you're going to be trying to hire someone you might already have someone in mind and the ace of wands showing up here could definitely be indicating that you know you may need to pull the reins in on just automatically assuming that oh this is the one because sometimes you know, we can take off in our new direction, but we plan, you know, okay, this is the way I'm going to go. But then we have other things pop up that we didn't count on. And that's just the way it goes. But especially if you're trying to hire someone, you know, the Ace of Wands could definitely be saying, hey, slow down because you may think this is the right person, but really we need to take a look at a few more people because we might be able to find a better match. All the glitters is not gold. So <laughs> sometimes we just really need to take our time. And there's a tendency to be pretty happy with the new start and to just take off and go in that new direction. But, you know, something definitely happens that we weren't expecting. And so sometimes you can start something and then all of a sudden lose your enthusiasm for it as well. Many, many possibilities associated with these cards together. Or maybe it might be a start that is a bit more difficult. That doesn't mean give up though. Sometimes this is just indicating that there's going to be a delay associated with this new start. There's something that is blocking that needs attention and that can cause a delay. But again, sometimes all it takes is for you to go in and give it a minor tweak and you can have this Ace of Wands back to the upright position in no time. Okay, so this would be the circumstances position. And here we have the Nine of Cups in the reverse position. So this would definitely indicate that a wish that you guys had, mm, well, you may not get it. Or you could receive like a partial wish where you get half of it. That's never fun. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this can definitely indicate a partial wish, receiving a partial wish, or your wish not coming to fruition at all. And if it's blocked, from happening then trust me you may not be able to see it right now but there is always a good reason for why things don't work out you know everything happens in divine timing let me tell you so another aspect to this card is sometimes there can be a tendency to be super dreamy and to be very wishful thinking be Sorry, losing my words here. Some people may be relying on wishful thinking. And that's just not going to cut it. Because we can wish and be in a state of wishful thinking all we want. But that's not going to be enough to actually obtain the wish. You know, we got to actually go after it. It requires some action. So... Wishful thinking is not enough to make something come to fruition, okay? And then another aspect of this card is that it can indicate that there could be issues occurring due to overindulgence, perhaps with alcohol, maybe prescription medication, maybe even recreational. Yeah, so it's okay to partake, you know, and everything in... As far as, the, you know, the chemicals go, well, I don't want to endorse all of them. <laughs> Moderation, people, okay? Moderation. We don't want to be drinking every single day, you know? It 
it's okay here and there, but to do it every day, 365, it's not good. And so this could definitely be speaking as to why we may be experiencing some issues in obtaining a wish that we have. Maybe we need to roll our sleeves up and get our hands dirty and, you know, actually go after it. Sometimes we just got to, you know, really put some work in and then we can get this card back to the upright position. Okay, so we clarify and we have the sun in the reverse position. So, this can indicate some of you could be having issues on the home front. It could be an issue with your home. It could be just overall unsettled, you know, unhappiness within the home life, possibly. Sometimes this can indicate that a marriage or a relationship is at a crossroads. So, yeah, one could definitely be looking and examining a relationship. Like, do I want to invest any more of my time, my energy, and my love into this relationship? Is it worth it? So, this card definitely tends to pop up when we're at a crossroads especially within a marriage or a committed type of relationship. But in general, the sun in reverse is indicating that there is a delay. And sometimes impatience can come up here, especially if you're being impatient about the delay. Sometimes you can actually push what you want away from you that much quicker at, it can really suck, honestly. <laughs> but you just need to realize that a delay is a delay. Don't try to rush it. I totally understand that you, sometimes we just want to get things moving along. I get it. But sometimes delays are for our benefit. We just don't see it in the moment. But another aspect of this is, is don't lose your hope and your enthusiasm, okay? Don't. Don't let your hopes be completely dashed. You know, maybe this just wasn't the right type of wish for you. You know, maybe there's something better for you. Maybe the divine source has something much better in store and you were just told no because something much better is coming down, you know, down the line. There's always a reason for everything, so... At least that is my school of thought. There is always a reason for everything. There are no mistakes in our lives, unfortunately. There's always some sort of purpose. Okay, so this would be the focus. So you guys are definitely focused on your money. And building some wealth. Building success. Maybe some of you are building a business. Maybe some of you are focused on getting a good job that would, you know, have benefits and, you know, sick days and vacation pay. The Ten of Coins would represent a business that is very solid. It is also, it can be a familial type of business where it's passed down from generation to generation. So several generations of wealth. Not just money, wealth. <laughs> so, it can also represent large corporations and sometimes government as well. But it would be very solid, very structured, very stable type of business. It'd be a business that definitely makes money. So, I definitely believe that a lot of you guys are focused on your financial security and your financial future. Okay, so we have the faith card, which is also known as the Hierophant as well. So, yeah, this, this definitely makes sense. So, we look to conventional, traditional type things that the faith slash Hierophant card rules. And this would rule religions, you know, marriages, things that are conventional. It also rules the education system. So some of you could be thinking about a teaching position. Some of you could currently be in college, possibly in college, so that you can pursue 
this wonderful career at this fabulous stable business. <laughs> it's always a possibility. Plus, I like the fact that this card is called the Faith card in this deck because it's so true. Have faith. Don't lose your faith because with faith, all things are possible. We got to be positive, though. Positive, positive, positive. So, again, the Faith card, it, it is traditional. It is the conventional. So... Yeah, this could definitely be representing a school. It could be representing a church. But overall, the faith card is about being willing to conform, to fall into line, so to speak. <laughs> Not always what I want to do. <laughs> I prefer this card in the reverse position, but that's me. But this can indicate that perhaps maybe you might be falling into line so that you can maybe potentially work at this job or you might be falling into line so that you can potentially some of you might want to might have a business already and maybe some of you are just focused on getting it to that point of you know from having some financial security to actually building some wealth yeah but overall, this is about conforming to what is traditional. It's about us falling into line and, and doing what is conventional and traditional. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the conventional, so I'm just going to put that out there. But that's me. <laughs> you know, sometimes that can be us definitely going against ourselves and being like, you know, maybe I should just follow what they're doing and maybe I can get into this company or get some wealth. Maybe I can start my creative project or my business and build it into this. And you might, you're definitely going to have to conform rule wise. You know, sometimes we have to have permits and you know, all those legal documents. So yeah, in those areas we do have to conform. <laughs> Most definitely. But the Hierophant is a very wise man. So, okay, I apologize for that. I had a little warning pop up. My antivirus software is getting ready to expire in less than a week. And that sucker would not come down. <laughs> I finally got it to come down. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Also, before I jump forward, this card to me definitely, sorry, not this one, this one right here, the faith card. To me, that seems to represent a lot of actors and musicians because typically with the faith card, the Hierophant card, there is a need to connect to the masses and a trading of something for money okay and then it's also about conforming well an actor has to conform to their script and another fun fact is a lot of actors especially the ones that have like a long duration you'd be surprised to see how many have Gemini influence in their chart <laughs> A lot of actors and a lot of musicians do as well. And, of course, they are most definitely wanting to connect to the masses so that they can trade their music, their, their acting skills, whatever it may be, for money. And who could blame them? So they have to conform to their script or they have to conform to their, their musical lyrics or whatever it may be. One could even say what I'm doing could be similar to that. I do connect to the masses by giving free readings. And then I end up getting personal readings based off of the free readings. And so I am receiving money and giving them a reading. So see how that works? So yeah, that could be, you know, 
working out in your situation. Also, sometimes we just decide to conform so that we can be peaceful. <laughs> and sometimes it's what's best. You know, just depends on the situation. Okay, moving forward. So this would be your recent past. So here we have the Two of Swords in the reverse position. So this indicates that after a period of indecision, you finally came to a decision and you made up your mind and you made your choice and you moved forward. Sometimes this can be a bit of an emotional situation. This is why she puts on the blindfold. And we see the water behind her, which is symbolic of the emotions. So it can be an emotional type of decision. A lot of times in the upright position, we're definitely at a point of indecision. So we need to weigh the pros and the cons carefully of each choice. But that has been done and a choice was made. Sorry. <sighs> okay, I think we should be done with interruptions now. <laughs> Oh, done took care of the computer problem. Done took care of the cell phone. Put that sucker on vibrate. So, <laughs> I swear every time I get in Gemini energy, I get all kinds of scattered. <laughs> I got to laugh at myself though. Okay. <laughs> so, we clarify the two of swords in reverse. And we get the ace of swords. So, Typically, I love this card. Not everybody likes this card. But this is definitely a new beginning. And it is most likely one that was quite successful. Now, a lot of times with the Ace of Swords, we have risen out of a difficult situation. So, things weren't necessarily easy, but we made it. Now... I love the Ace of Swords because this sword, it's a double-edged sword. So, hey, it can cut both ways. You don't want to be overly forceful. But the beautiful thing about this card is this sword literally will cut right through any and all bullshit. <laughs> it is like a truth-penetrating sword. I love it because I'm all about the truth, you know. Give me truth or give me death. That's my motto. So, some of you might get that and some of you might be like, huh? <laughs> I'm Scorpio Moon, so give me truth or give me death, you know. <laughs> okay, yes, but this is definitely about getting to the truth of the matter. It's also about having the new star. But the new star has risen out of a more difficult situation. Sometimes it can indicate the birth of a child, but all aces can definitely be indicating the birth of a child. And we do have three aces, so it's quite possible. For some, it could have been a quite un unexpected pregnancy as well, so it's always a possibility. Now, sometimes... We can be a little bit too forceful with our ideas. So we have to be really careful. Because again, like I said, this sword will cut both ways. And so that part can suck sometimes. But a lot of times with this card, it you will feel powerful. You're going to feel like, uh, yeah, I'm totally in control. I got everything in control everything is going my way <laughs> but boy does it take quite a bit to get there now logic is always on your side when you have this card and that's beautiful as well and it also gives you that strength and that stamina to make sure that you see a project that you have to completion so the Ace of Swords will be that card that's right behind you, just pushing you, even kicking you in the rear end if need be, <laughs> so that you, uh, you know, get that project done. So, you know, there is a good side to this card. I, you know, me personally, I love it. So not everyone likes it, though. Some people are like, oh, God. 